This year alone, the Department of Health confirmed 17 people were diagnosed with rat lungworm disease, including then 11-month-old Kane Ta'anu'u on the Big Island. <laughs> Santini Ta'anu'u thinks her son Kane contracted rat lungworm disease by eating a slug or snail in their backyard. He had a fever, diarrhea, and wasn't eating. Initially, doctors thought he had pneumonia or the flu. When, I, when they told me it was rat lung, I just started to cry. Um, because at that point, you know, I know my son was sick for a while and I didn't know if he was going to make it or not. Slugs and snails thrive in all the wet weather on the Big Island, attracting parasites from rat feces that cause the disease. It's a form of meningitis that affects the brain. Symptoms include fever, headaches, and a tingling sensation of the skin. It's also transmitted by eating raw fruits and vegetables. If you're going to eat your produce raw, experts suggest washing and rubbing all fruits and vegetables thoroughly under running water. Many farmers take extra steps to ensure food safety. Most Farmers that I know uh, take precautions. Uh, myself, uh, I have a, a cat that hunts to reduce the rat population. I put out a, an organic product, an iron phosphate, to kill slugs. And for good reason. 60 cases were reported between 2007 and 2016. Cures are, are great. Um, the one thing that we would really like to have is, again, the best evidence-driven material out there. The CDC says there is no specific treatment to cure rat lungworm disease. Kane's treatment for now is mostly steroids. Mom says he's making progress and doctors believe he will make a full recovery. Are there long-term effects of getting rat lungworm disease? Yes, experts tell me it depends on the amount of parasite a person originally intakes to determine if some effects will actually be permanent. Thanks, Nicole.